Collective, starting with a little white sage, just clearing the last reading, clearing our energy, not letting any yuckies in there. Perfect. Just a little bit, a little, a little bit of a sage back. All right. It's going to be a love reading. I'm not really sure what we're talking about just yet, but let me get a song um, to see what the vibe is for your little situation, relationship, whatever you came here for. Let's see what your song is. Usher, nice and slow. LL Cool J, love you better. Seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising. The streets, oh yeah. <laughs> I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. I pull up, anticipated. Good love, don't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I never seen. Girl, you know what I mean. Damn, I wanna put it up on ya, in ya. Whatever. <laughs> I don't discriminate here. Ooh la la. I heard that again. What is this French? Is it because of the Olympics? Is it France? On my head, my ancestors are up there like, ooh la la. Oui, oui. Bonjour. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's funny. Um, hello, Cool J. Love you better. This is hard to say. I want to make sure I go about this in the right way. Because lately, I've been busy a lot. And I know you don't feel appreciated and whatnot. I used to tell you that your hair look fly, kiss you slow and stare in your eyes. Now I talk real foul and slick. Every other sentence is, you make me sick. Back in the days, I was your number one pick. Now my heart's half broken and that's hard to fix. I had to dig deep inside myself because I can't see you bouncing with someone else. Oh no. Someone is like, oh, I fucked up. I pushed this one away. I didn't know what to do. They were so intense. His feelings were too much. I just got busy. It's not about you. I was working on my career, but I want you. <laughs> These are, I'm an empath. Sorry, I'm, I'm vibing out. Let me get one more song. Just because I, I just want to. Mm, too many. Just one more spirit. I'm trying to get to know you, little. Oh my God, Usher again. You got a bad. You got a bad listen. This might be relevant to you, but this song, my first love, like the first person that I gave my butt to. What is it with these accents? I'm so sorry. You got monitoring spirits because I have those weird little flies out my window. Like, go away and stop watching us. But somebody's got a bad. Like, somebody is fucking hooked. Maybe you're hooked on each other. I don't even need to read the song. I already know the vibes. I used to, I had soccer games long away from school. And I used to listen to this on my way to soccer games, thinking about my person. I feel like it's relevant. Somebody might be jamming to some Ursher. Shout out to Ursher. Usher. <laughs> That's my generation right there. I danced so many nights to his songs. <laughs> Let's have a peek at... If, some, if your person could visually express what they want in your coupledom, whether you're already a couple or hope one day to be a couple, whatever the situation is, I'm going to pull that dream, that they dream, right out of their head and give you a visual. <laughs> I created this deck. I don't have a title for it. I, I found all of these on Pinterest. Ooh, somebody wants babies. Or maybe you are pregnant. Maybe they're daydreaming about what your baby's going to look like. If you are pregnant, this is definitely like, hmm, is it going to look like me? Is it going to look like you? But somebody wants to wife up, husband up someone here. Have their babies. Lots of babies. I like it. It's so cute. Want a family. Want roots. Want the future. This ain't no fuck boy, fuck girl energy. This one's playing for keeps, collective. Oh, look it. All right, so like Adam concert i'm assuming music festivals traveling oh wait what's that in the background oh wait no it's like a farmer's market my bad <laughs> it's a farmer's market so maybe you guys will frequent um maybe you're like vegetarians or you're just very into agriculture and farming maybe you'll move out of the city and have a family live in a suburb but look how close you are affectionate loving demonstrating love seeing it in each other's eyes eye contact is a thing here I, you know, love people who make eye contact, but that makes me so nervous. Like, why are you trying to look at my soul? 
I love you too, but this is weird. <laughs> well, look, you guys are eating together. Traveling, eating, foodies. I just feel like maybe you're foodies with this like farmer's market. Maybe one of you is a chef, but you can be yourself. Like, look at him. It's like, I'm just gonna stuff my face. This is so good. And they're like, I know, me too. I'm talking with your mouth full. Like, you have that relationship <laughs> where you guys can just be yourselves. I like it. Let's see how they're feeling. This is a channel deck. If they could tell you how they're feeling right now without you collected, I could pull those thoughts right out of their head for things they can't say. Ooh. So they've not been in communication. This is a big regret. This is the oh no, I fucked up and I need to fix this. Seeing a dragonfly again. I love you because not only are you the love of my life, but you're my best friend too. Yeah, that energy of like going out to eat, going to festivals, like you can travel well together. You can. It's like you hang out all the fucking time and it really doesn't affect your relationship. It's very rare. I have a child or children with my ex and I am trying to co-parent and try to make peace for our children's sake. So maybe that's why they're putting you on the back burner or perhaps this could be you and how you feel about your person. Take what re resonates to you, but... They're not in love with that person. They're not trying to fix their relationship to stay together. They're trying to fix their relationship to be a good family for their kids. So if you're wondering if they have feelings for an ex or if they're putting you on the back burner to try to get back with the ex, the answer is no. It's all about creating a peaceful uh, team to, to raise those kids with. I love you because you always follow your heart and you're not afraid to be yourself or do what you love. They love your badassness. They love your fierceness. They love, I don't take shit from nobody. I know what I want. They like the maturity in you. They like that you're loyal. I'm not angry or upset at you. I've healed and moved on. You should too. So I don't feel like this is directed at you. I feel like this is very much directed to who they have kids with or your, who you have kids with. Like, please, you just need to move on. Like, this isn't, maybe their ex isn't um, letting go. And it doesn't always mean that they're being like vindictive because maybe the ex has a broken heart and they're, they're genuinely do care about that person. They have kids with them. They're like, I'm really sorry I broke your heart. I just don't love you anymore. It, for some, I feel like it's kid gloves. They're kid glo gloving their ex, not because they have romantic feelings, but because they fear, feel terrible. Um, they feel like they broke this person, like this person's going through a real hard time, and they're trying to be a friend, not a lover. That's very important. Others of you, this could be your energy, like you kept me on the back burner all this time. Why should I give you time and attention now? Oh, your life falls apart. Now you want to speak to me energy. Let me get one more. I don't want to leave with that. Any more feelings for the collective? Accepting love is scary to you because if they matter too much and you lose them, you don't think you can, you'll survive it. I bet on your first day of school you were scared for the, your parent to leave because you didn't think you'd survive on your own. You did. Stop fearing it's short-lived anyway. Yeah, there is definitely fear and not feeling worthy. So this person um, is evaluating, like, is this real? Like, can I really do this? Look, I already failed over here. Or this could be you. Um, there's a roadblock of maybe I'm just not good at love. That's a fear-based response. Everybody's good at love. Love comes and goes. Only the right love stays. And I feel like, you know, with wanting babies with this person, this person wanted babies with you, I feel like there is a, a strong feeling. So let's see in the near future to close out your reading. What do you need to know? Believe in the impossible. This is real. This is once in a blue moon love. Like you have the rarest form of love, the real deal. And yeah, it's fucking scary. But it's full and abundant. Run towards it, not away from it. It's gravitating, pulling you towards it for a reason. Don't let pride get in your way. Exactly. It is Leo energy. Um, stepping into Virgo season. Be bold. Be daring. Communication is key. Break that no communication. Speak your feelings. Balance spirituality and practicality. Be realistic to your...
current situation, but speak your truth. And your hard work is paying off. You will clear karmic energy.